Welcome to your happily ever after bar hit workout. This is a part of the bridal bar bootcamp that gets you in wedding shape in 30 days. Receive this straight into your inbox when you sign up with the link below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Now let's get into the workout. Okay, let's start with a warm up. I'm gonna be keeping time for us. So just take a nice big inhale up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees. And again, inhale in and exhale. So I've got a great circuit for you. We're gonna be doing six different rounds and each round is going to have a set of sculpting moves and cardio moves, all right? So you don't have to worry about any of that. Just follow along and have some fun. Again, for this workout, all you need is a chair, so make sure it's nice and sturdy, get that set up for you, and it's going to be a ton of fun as we get into our bodies, working out, feeling our best, and feeling nice and glowy. So I'm gonna show you your next move right here. You're gonna start in a downward facing dog, and you're going to tap across with the right hand to left ankle, and then you're going to take that same leg, left leg, pull it up into your chest. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, reach across for that ankle and then pull the left knee in towards your chest. So just like that for 50 seconds. So what I love about these intervals is that it really gives you time to perfect the move, to get strong within it. So right here, you're gonna feel your core working, your shoulders, your arms. Good. And you're gonna feel also a nice stretch, which I love about these types of moves as well. That gives you that mobility while you're also working out. So you're almost like recovering at the same time. All right, keep it going. 10 more seconds right here. And then we're gonna move on to a side plank for the legs. Three, two, one. Good, put that knee down right away. Gonna keep the left hand down onto the, or right hand down on the floor. Left leg is going to lift and lower. So lift, lower just like this, keep your core tight. Good, hand behind the head, press the fingers into the floor and open up through the chest right here. So don't be curling forward like this. Remember, you gotta lift that chest up. We're working on that posture, all leading up to that big day where you're gonna feel nice and tall and proud and glowing, right? You wanna have good posture when you're up there in front of all your closest friends and family, right? So pull those abs in, good. Nice deep breaths in and out. So after this, then we're gonna repeat those two moves and we're gonna just do it on the other side, okay? So after this, we're gonna go straight into that downward facing dog and then we're gonna go into this one on the other side. Good, keep going. Okay, 10 second break, and then here we go. Left hand to right foot this time, right knee in towards your chest. Really ground through the fingertips right here, making sure that the shoulders go all the way over the wrists. Nice long line through the spine. And then I want you to curl your knee up towards your chest. Try to get it almost to touch, like you're gonna kiss your knee. That's how far up it goes. Good. Keep those core, keep those core muscles nice and tight and engaged. So turn over, put the left hand down, left knee down. Make sure that you're in one straight line so everything is stacked right over each other. And let's go, lift and lower, lift and lower. So the biggest thing here is probably opening up those ribs here, so close up the ribs. Make sure that the tailbone is also tucked under so you're not sticking the booty out. And you're creating that nice long line along the spine, hands behind the head. Good, and maybe even smile here, feel yourself opening up, getting stronger, feeling your absolute best. And if you're coming back to this video again and again, which I hope you are for this whole program, add an ankle weight, see what it does. It'll definitely give that extra burn, that extra challenge so that you can keep growing and keep progressing. Okay, after this, we've got 
our cardio move. I hope you're excited. Okay, I'll show you your cardio move. You're gonna be on your hands and knees or toes. You're gonna kick out just like this, back to the center and out, okay? And then we're gonna speed it up, let's go. So kick, kick. So this is your cardio burst. Let yourself get a little uncomfortable as you go faster and faster. Here we go, keep it up. Keep going, keep going. I know as you get tired, but you wanna stop, but don't let yourself. Come on. Whew. Last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Okay, next move, we're gonna go right into it. Side lunge into a passe. Catch your breath. Whew. And down and up. Beautiful. So we're just doing a nice big side lunge right here. I want you to think about pressing into the outside edge of your right foot and then really squeezing those glutes together as the foot comes in, arms come up overhead. Nice. I'm tapping my left hand to my right foot and I'm getting really low. So get that booty back and down. Okay, so that you can feel your thighs, your outer glutes working. Good. Heart rate should still be up too from that last cardio move, which is always good. Next move, we're gonna be grabbing our chair. So just warning that it's coming up. Okay, we're gonna do tricep dips off of our chair right here. So pretty simple, hands on the chair. Scoot your booty out and let's go. So here, again, we're really working on posture, right? So if you're working on posture here while you're stressing out your body, the workouts, on that big day, you're gonna be able to hold that posture up even if you're feeling stressed, right? This is where you get to practice all of that. So keep the elbows together, lift the heart and chest up, let the booty come closer to the chair. The closer it is to the chair, the harder it is. Whew. Tricep dips are so good for our posture. Toning those beautiful arms. <sighs> nice, steady, deep breaths. All right, now we're gonna go to the left. Left lunge to passe up. Making those arms really swoop left and up. Ready, let's go. Down and up. So right hand to left foot and stand. Think about getting the butt down and back. Use that quad, tighten up your core. Beautiful, and then let the arms have this nice sweeping motion. All the way up overhead, reach, and really expand. Frame your face right there. Good. Here we go. We've got our tricep dips again. This is what makes it challenging, is when we do these exercises twice through, but I know you can do it. All right, lower and lift. Squeeze those elbows together. Lift the chest up. Let the breath calm down. Some nice deep breaths. So good. Whew. Take breaks when you need it. I definitely will be taking breaks. Whew. 
I am definitely feeling the burn back there in those triceps. Trying to lift my chest up as much as I can, especially as I get tired. Good, okay. Now we've got our cardio move here. We've got our running front attitudes. So legs are just gonna be coming up like this and you're gonna be tapping the toes, okay? So this is where you burn it out. This is where you really empty out the tank. Whoo, get all those that stress out, nerves out. Here we go, up, 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 nice. You're looking good. You're looking so strong. And up, 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 up. Good, so my heels are lifting up. You can do it. Here we go. Count it down with me. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Ooh, I ended a little early. Okay, that's okay. Here we go. We're gonna go side mermaid to kick. So nice little mermaid sit, and then we're gonna kick it all the way out to the side. Down and up. Whew, so I know that heart rate is pumping right now. Nice good fat burn right there. Let the breath keep going really good as we breathe through these sculpting moves. And if you've got those ankle weights on, good for you. That is amazing. You're gonna get that good solid burn right there. Whew. All right. Just Using this time to connect with yourself, your body, really grounding into your body. Okay, now we're gonna stay up on our knees here like this, and we're going to pull the knee in towards the elbow and extend long. Let's go. So I love this one because really both sides of the outer glutes get a workout here, since the bottom one has to work a lot to stabilize everything. Elbow in, expand, in, and reach. Good. <sighs> nice big breaths as you allow the body to calm down. <sighs> reach long. I want you to think about stretching from your fingertips to your toes right here. Nice, beautiful, long line. Reach further than your body. So not just stopping kind of right here, but beyond your extremities. Like you're trying to touch something in front and behind you. Good. Whew. All right. We are switching sides now. Come down to your side. Take a deep breath. I'm out of breath. Good. And we are here in this beautiful studio. However, there is no air conditioning right now. So. It gets hot pretty quickly here in the middle of the summer, but it's okay. We'll turn it into hot hit. Just get that extra sweat and detox, right? Good. Keep that core nice and tight. You're doing so good. I'm just so happy that you're here with me and that we're doing this together. It's such a big time of our lives, so we get to do it together, right? I think that's amazing. Okay, catch that breath. 10 seconds goes by quick. We've got the reach to the pool. Here we go. Let's set it up. Reach long and let's go. Elbow to knee. Actually make contact right here. Elbow touches the knee.
got our cardio move, mountain climbers. Are you ready? Don't cheat out on me. Let's do it all the way together, okay? Let's go. Up, up, up. Knees up toward your chest. Run it out. Now here, I want you to think about those arms, keeping them straight and strong. Push the floor away. Knees up towards your chest. Up, up, up. Woo! This is where the real work comes in. This is where you gotta maybe push yourself a little bit, right? You didn't come here to stay the same. You came here to change, to get stronger. So it happens now. Good. Woo! Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, good. Okay, we're gonna stay down here. We're gonna go push up into a back lift. Working on that posture again. All the way down, extend up, back up. If you can do it on your toes, even better. Modify right here on your knees, come up, lower down, lift the hands and feet up. Try to get the feet together when you lift the arms and legs up, right here. Squeeze those ankles, good. Maybe you do every other right here, from toes to your knees. Good, now we're gonna go into a tiger curl. So we're gonna extend one arm forward, one leg out. Touch right here underneath, and then reach, good. Join me if you haven't yet. I love this one again, because of posture, core, stability, balance. Now, I don't want you sticking in this shoulder, okay? Put out of the shoulder. And you're gonna really get a nice arm workout right here. Nice. One of those moves again, where you can really expand long. Really, really reach through the fingers, through the toes. Get longer as you sculpt. So we can get those nice, long, lean muscles. Okay, push up to back lift again. Round two, you already know it's coming up. This is where you can maybe dig in a little deeper. are gonna look so good. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go the other side. Start hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and really make space right here. Push, make that big curve in the upper back. Expand long, good. Exhale as the knee comes in. Inhale as you reach, good. Exhale, inhale, because after this we've got our cardio moves. So just kind of mentally gearing yourself up for that intensity there. Maybe if I change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart thing. 
Stand it up. Here we go. Lateral jumps, side to side. Whew. So we're gonna go here to here. Okay, here we go. Side and side. Good. Nice big jump in the middle right here. I'm balancing right here on the side. So try not to put that back foot down. This is where you get to really work on those outer glutes, your core stability. Good. Nice soft landing. You've got it. Maybe you can go up a little bit higher, a little up, a little wider. Last 10 right here. Woo. Okay, take a breather. Now, we're gonna be stepping up to our chair. Nice big step ups. We're just stepping up and down. That's it, up and down, up and down. Here we go, up and up. Whew. Really burning out that leg. You can do this really anywhere. If you have a step or I don't know what else. A good coffee table that doesn't break. Whew. a kid's table, something you can just go up on. Actually, I've even done these on a bed. If I don't have a chair, just figure out a way, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. Whew. Stay with that right leg. We're gonna place the hands down here. Now the left leg is just gonna lift up and down. So we worked a lot in that quad there. A Little bit of hamstring. Now we're gonna really target the glutes. So just tap, lift, tap, lift. So I love combining ballet inspired moves. If you have never worked out with me before, I love the ballet inspired moves because I myself was a ballerina for, gosh, most of my life. So I love that kind of training because it gives me the best results. And then I love combining it with just some good old fashioned functional movement, right? That you probably use in your daily life that keeps you strong and agile, able to keep up with your future kids, right? Go ahead. Maybe if I change the Okay, breather. 10 seconds. We're gonna step up with the left side. We're getting there. We've got this round, and then one more round. And then that's it. And then if you guys are following along in the app, you've got those finishers, which I know takes it up a whole notch, but I know that's what you guys love doing. You're always asking me for more challenging workouts. So get that finisher in. Whew. And make sure you're commenting down below, letting me know what day you're on, how this is going for you. I read all your comments. Seriously, my favorite part is to get that little notification from you, letting me know how this workout made you feel, how it's making an impact in your life, how it made a difference in your day. Whew. Okay. <sighs> Getting so close. Hands on the chair, left leg is gonna lift now. Whew. And then we've got jump squats. Everyone's favorite, right? Okay, so this one you're gonna feel a nice little stretch in that bottom leg. So give me a little micro bend here in the standing leg, okay? Keep that core tight. Think about elongating through the back. No round here. You have a little arch in the back. Pull up the core. Maybe if I change the way I love it Maybe if I try to fix this heart then I could have stayed the night I could have called you mine I can't be the one to me Maybe if I change the way I love it
jump squats is up right now. You can do it. So our only last two core are cardio moves. Pretty simple. I like to tap one hand down at a time here. It just keeps me accountable to getting my butt all the way down. Good. Whew. You've got it. Finish strong with me here. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, okay. We've got hip thrust right here. You're gonna set yourself up on the edge of your chair. Right there on your bra line. Press through the right heel and lift. Lower, lift. So it's not a very big movement. Whew. Catch your breath. It's really about tightening up the core and getting deep into that hamstring and glute. Good. And of course the quad and inner thigh will still be working. And if you need to put the foot down, you can. Or another good modification is to go into a figure four. Okay. is a serious burn. Okay, hands on the chair. Now we're gonna do rainbow kicks. So we're gonna tap side, up. We're gonna cross a little bit behind, lift up, tap it all the way over to the side, okay? So if you had a clock around you, it's tapping at like a three o'clock and then around a seven o'clock, okay? So everything is still working here, core tight. Back is straight and strong. Even give me a little bit of that back bend so that your chest lifts. This is it. Left side, one more cardio move. I know these final pushes, it gets intense, but this is what you came here for, right? You came here to be challenged, to do your best, to maybe go beyond what you think is possible for yourself. I love it when someone tells me, oh my gosh, I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. So I believe in you, keep it up. can modify with a figure four if you need to. So we're gonna be placing the right hand, foot down, both hands down, tap to the side, lift, cross behind, lift. Good, so point that toe, extend through the leg. I'm not bending it, right? I'm keeping it straight. This is it. 
Your final push. Lunge jumps. <laughs> I don't know why I put these last. These are like my least favorite ones, but that's okay. Here we go. Switch every time. I'm seriously dripping in sweat. You guys, I never sweat. I know that sounds crazy, but it really takes a lot for me to sweat. So the fact that I'm sweating right now means either it's really hot in here or the workout's really hard. Probably both. Good. You've got it. This is where you gotta give that final push. You can do it. Whew. Okay, let's finish out strong. 15. Nine, eight, seven, six. Oh man, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. You are all done. Take a quick cool down. I'm so proud of you. That was not easy. I'm breathing hard with you, place the hands here. You did such a good job. Also, if you're in my app right now, make sure that you go to your finisher and comment down below. Let me know how this was for you. All right, Whew. side to side. Make sure that you continue to take care of yourself. That's what this is all about, right? These workouts are you celebrating your body. Nice job. Awesome job, you made it all the way through. Now, if you're wanting to upgrade your experience and get the best results, then download my brand new bar definition app available now in the app store where you can get your bonus finishers, recipes, and notifications to help keep you on track. Download it now and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.